Anyway. Uh, Frankie. Yes. Somebody. What you doing? Um, I was gonna go find everyone else after I left the antiquities. Why are you also going to find everybody else? Are you muted? Because I did not hear that. Yes, I was. Now I want to go try to find Finn again. Okay. Um. So, Frankie shows up the uh, at the restaurant with you. Um. Maxine and Victor. Hey, are the guys? Are those men still there, or they've left? No, they're still there. Hey. So, Frankie, did you find out anything? I gotta show y'all something. Okay. It doesn't... Oh, I'm gonna show you this first, and then I'll tell you the rest of it. doesn't confirm anything. I'm not telling Tom that I might be wrong. Yet. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna roll back the GoPro to the situation with... Alright, so, what you see is you can kind of hear the conversation they're having it's a little bit quiet because i don't think gopros have the best speakers the mics are pretty good um well you can kind of hear them talking and victoria starts trailing off and as she trails mm -hmm. off um you can see her face kind of get more and more dazed and her jaw just drop open and she just walks away then frankie follows after her um grabs onto her wrist uh she tries walking and then collapses to the ground okay interruption here for a sec are can the guys hear anything that's going on are you talking the video yeah no i just said it's quiet okay because i was curious to see if it would affect benjamin at all there was no song so right Okay. Yeah, all that happened was there was talking. Was I coming through? No, I was not. All that happened was there was talking, and then um, she gave out, or like her body gave out. Mm hmm. So, what happened with her? Like, why did she. Like, she looked like she was in a daze. So, remember how I was looking into who the commenters were? Right. She was one of them. Interesting. So I went to ask her thoughts if she thought it was a natural phenomena, if there was something weird. Um, she said it honestly could be either, and she started trying to get me to understand like how it sounded. Right. And the more she talked about it, all of a sudden her eyes just blazed over and it was like I wasn't even there um a couple of people helped me get her back inside the shop and she was okay she was fine it was like it didn't happen she didn't remember any of it she was confused as to how she got from behind the desk about the counter to like laying down okay so just I, and I showed her the same thing I just showed you guys, and she has no recollection of any of that. Um, okay. So, see those two guys sitting over there? One's the musician from the bar. And I think you talked to the other one. Or... No. Right? Did I recognize the other guy? No. I thought we saw them and talked to them. I don't know who his friend is. You recognize Benjamin. You don't recognize the other guy. Yeah, I said his friend. Yeah, no, I yeah, that's who she was talking about. Telling Maxine. Okay, that's fine. Who's the other guy? So, I actually, I don't think he introduced himself to us. He didn't want to talk. He to didn't us. want to talk to us. But anyway, so Ben, it's almost sounds like the exact same type of thing. He was saying that he heard singing, and he was by the river. And he ended up in a clearing 
kind of wet or damp. I'm not sure exactly how wet he was, but he had no recollection of how he got there. And he says now he's been having these dreams where he's in this endless maze. It's like over and over again. But this happened last summer. Last summer. Hmm. So, so it's like um, But Did he, he said that where go ahead. He heard it? He said he was by the river. Do you know what side of the river? Because the river kind of runs for like ever. He never for, gave us yeah, a spot. He never gave us a spot. I'm sure we could talk. I don't think we want to talk to him though with his buddy there, because he seems not happy that I'll walk over there. Sure, if you want to. Come on, it's Frankie. When has Frankie ever turned down a chance to piss somebody off? Well, what a maybe, great maybe we, have. maybe we do want to talk to these people again. But I guess that's fine. They just won't talk to me. True. Um, hold on. <laughs> yeah, okay. So Frankie, Frankie's heading over. You're going over there? Yeah. yeah. Here, Frankie, take a handful of bacon. <laughs> Pocket bacon. Hey. Yeah. I'm gonna... Wait for a lull in whatever conversation they're having. Well, before you head over, he said that we'd also want to probably talk to Cassandra. Mm, okay. That's the girl at the apothecary? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. She's the one that sold me the... Um... Shrooms? Not shrooms. Is she? Uh... The aloe fur. For aloe. her and victim. Yeah. That's the word I was <laughs> that Charlie was called. The shrew aloes. Did you say marshmallows? <laughs> no. I think that's maybe the brand name? I don't <laughs> Um, okay. There's kind of a, a brief pause in the conversation. Excuse me. They jump up. The, the the one guy lets out a long sigh. Oh, come on. I'm not the most annoying person you've met. I have one tiny little question, and I was nice, and I waited for, like, a pause in your conversation. Okay. Whatever. Uh, Benjamin's like, I'm oh, Frankie, by hi. The way. Oh, hi, Frankie. I'm Benjamin. It's nice to meet you. Hey, you play pretty good. Yeah, thanks. Um, Even when I'm sober. So that's a compliment. Well, thank you very much. Much um, obliged. My friends are saying you heard a uh, weird noise by the river. Do you happen to remember what side of the river you were on? Uh, the guy, I don't know if you're paying attention to him, but all rolls his eyes. Um, and he's like, yeah, just this side of the river. Uh, not the east side of the river, but it's east of town. But, like, I don't cross the river. Right. I have, so, like, like, the instruments east and stuff with me. So, I you have to, like, ford a boat over it, you know? No, right, of course. And the entire time I'm answering Ben, I'm just glaring at his friend. Do you have a problem with my questions that you would like to say to my face? Yeah. You indulge his fantasies. That's it. Look, I'm all for skeptics, and whether this is paranormal or natural phenomena... I have to ask the questions of where the location might be in order to figure out which one it is. So no, I'm not entertaining. I'm trying to figure out if this is fake or not. Is that a problem? Yeah, we were. All right, Ben, see ya. What, uh, and he gets up. Oh, ben, I'm sorry, was your conversation like super, super important? that I interrupted. I mean, it was not bad. But it wasn't like a life or death thing that I interrupted? He's, the other guys already left. 
Um, I'm so sorry. I, I guess just, not. I, I'm, I'm used to people being... I'm gonna put my foot in my mouth if I keep talking. Um, I try to be a people person. I really do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, it's fine. Um, we can catch up later. Um, Is he an old friend? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say, oh. yeah, it's still on this side of the river. Um, so you don't have to cross it or anything. But you're all good. Yeah. Uh, you see on his way out, um, he called Evelyn over quickly and you saw um, him slip her a hundred dollar bill. So at this point, who's left in the diner? Just us now? Yeah, just you and Benjamin. And, and, and Ben. And Evelyn, but... Yeah. All right. Wyatt. Hey, uh, oh. hey Benjamin. Oh, sorry. sorry. Hey, Ben. Yeah? Uh, who was your... Who's your friend there that just left? Oh, that's Wrath. He's got some money. I mean, yeah, whole family does. Oh, is he uh, one of the Albatross brothers? The son, but yeah. I'm about to just kind of like walk out, like mumbling shit to myself, just over and over again. Why? Because as they're asking these questions, I put two and two together, and I'm like, that's. It made a powerful enemy. <laughs> Might be a problem in the future. I don't know. Maybe. What? Actions have consequences? Weird. Especially considering I was. Uh... I'm gonna just text Maxine as I'm walking out. Hey, I have a random question for you later. Has have, nothing to do with work. Have random question for later? Yeah, I have a random question for you later. Okay. Has nothing to do with work. Okay. Because I'm walking out mumbling shit to myself. Um, Alright. So, you guys... Uh, yeah, so yeah. they told you who it was, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wrath. Wrath is his name. All right. Well, we're going to buy your coffee, Ben. We apologize for I scaring Wrath off. I think he already did. Ah, it's okay. We'll buy it anyway. I feel like the $100 would have covered the coffee. It's all good. But everyone can just keep that as a tip, then. Exactly. All right. Well, thanks. Um, but I should probably catch up with him. So I'll see you guys around. Sounds good. We appreciate you, Ben. Take care. Thanks. You too. Uh, and he runs out the door, chasing after. Um, Wyatt, you're looking for Finn? Yep. Um, where is... So as you're walking over, um, I s do you normally just go to the park to try and find him, or like, do you actually... Look that's, around town. That's where I started is the park. Okay, so as you're leaving and heading up that way, uh, you see um, a wealthy looking man and a bearded man come out of the restaurant, but the wealthy looking man's kind of walking ahead, and you see the other guy come up behind and yell, Raph, as you're heading up towards the park area. Um, and as you're doing that, um, Finn actually walks out of the library. Going that way. Towards the library. No, no, I'm saying like you were heading up that way, and just as you're walking by, he kind of pops out. 
And just who I was looking for. Oh, hey. Why are you looking so, for me? Did you remember see how we were not... No, but I, I have news to that front. We... Come on. I'm going to get to where we're not near people. Okay, let's go to our forest castle. That sounds great. All right, you guys head out. I'll to tell the you forest. once we get once we get outside of people, they can hear us. Okay, you head out to the forest. And... Okay. So, I talked to somebody, and he said he knows Bigfoot too, but the Bigfoot is asleep, and that it's the Yeti that's been eating the food you've been leaving for Bigfoot. Aren't Yeti and Bigfoot the same thing? Apparently they're two different people. Hmm. But that wasn't what I came for. So, do you know anywhere where there's like quicksand and a dark pond? Um, uh, no. I don't really go, I mean, this is about as far as I go into the forest. So, remember how the other day we were talking about the singing in the woods? Yep. Kind of over towards, over that way, and he points to the west. Or, sorry, east. Yeah. So, I kind of had a dream about it today. You had a dream about it? I haven't had a dream about it if I actually heard it. That's you actually fair. heard it. Yeah, a little bit. What did it sound like? Uh, I didn't actually hear what you were humming, but he sounds like the same as what you hum. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like what I heard. So weird. How could I have a dream about it if I've never heard it? Um. Magic. Unless I've heard it and I don't realize it. I mean... I've heard people talk about how there's different monsters and creatures that can sing and make you forget things. So it's possible, I guess. What if I've met them and didn't know it because I forgot? That'd be crazy. might be having a little bit of a crisis what what's going on i might have met the, the the whoever sings i think somebody called him a siren aren't sirens the wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. that's what i said what's but a siren said, then? no it's apparently somebody who sings and like lulls you into stuff that's weird. But you said you've heard it. Nothing bad happened to you. I mean, not that I remember. You think you forgot too? Maybe. That's crazy. Well, here you want you want a pair. I got some earplugs. You want you want some? Yeah. Wait. And I'll. For what? In case the if the if the then in case the the music the humming is bad. You what can if, put those in. What and if they just hum louder? It should protect you. I hope. I don't know. It's my okay. hope. It's the best I got at the moment. Okay. But I'm I'm afraid that Frankie's gonna find quicksand. I haven't seen quicksand except for in shows. It's really dangerous. I know. I tried warning Frankie, and she's like, "No big deal, ha ha ha." Quicksand's not quick. 
say? It's in the name. I know. Some people are silly. Adults just don't understand. Exactly. I just cannot get comfortable in this chair tonight. Yeah, I just wanted to check. So you said it the, you heard this the the noise the humming that the music that way? Yeah. There's there's a river over there. Do you know the name of the river? I think it's just Nahani River. Okay. It's the main one. There's a lot of ones that like branch off, but the main one I think is Nahani River. Okay. Do you know if there's any good time to try to go here or if it's any time? Um, just before supper. Okay. I'll have to go see if I can check it out then. I just gotta make sure nobody goes alone, you know, just in case. So you're gonna go alone? No, he's gonna bring Emily. <laughs> and Finn. The kid crew, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm actually not, because I don't want anything to happen to them. Oh, so you are gonna go alone. I'm gonna go get Charlie and Victor. <laughs> What? Why it's being well, he safe wants... and responsible? No, no, no. He wants something to happen to them. Uh... Be like, oh, I don't know where they went. <laughs> He's got the earplugs. Okay. Uh, so you head back to the lodge then? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so you head back to the lodge. Um... Just before that happens, uh, Molly does walk into the restaurant and she's like, Hey, Ev, um, can I get, um, I don't know, surprise me. Yes, I can get Have you we... a, um, I don't know, surprise me. I will get that right away. Have we, oh yeah, you said that we would have seen her around. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I guess I can send you a picture. So I'll lean over to Victor. That has to be her sister. Just listen to how they're talking to each other. There you go. Oh yeah, they look really I have to make them go away because they're next to the creepy picture. He's like, and a race. <laughs> how do you, how do you erase them? I just scroll back up. All right. He goes back to his green and red hair. Here, I can just do this. There. It's creepy picture gone. Much better. Just for you. Okay, I'm going to get up and go towards Molly. Is she like standing with Evelyn or not with her, but she's standing now, yeah. Okay. Hi there, Evelyn? Not Evelyn, sorry. Molly? I'm the younger one, so... Uh, yeah. yeah. Hi. Um, we were just talking to Evelyn. She said that you would be in. And uh, I was just wondering if you could... If we could buy whatever you're drinking there. And if we uh, could ask I you mean, some I questions. Get food for free here. Well, okay, I guess. Would you mind joining my friend and I? We... We, uh... We wanted to ask you some questions. I mean, I suppose I don't really have a lot of answers. 
Well, unless did you, you want to learn you... a basic education. <laughs> well, sometimes I think maybe we should, but no, sorry. No, we uh, we heard from uh, one of our friends that you were talking to Olivia the other day. Oh, Tom's about your friend. Some... Yeah. Oh, how did you know his name? No, I'm saying that's the I'm DM saying, saying that. that. Uh oh. Yeah, well, I guess so. I'm pretending. Because <laughs> he's the worst. He's great. That's well, not, not as bad as my arch nemesis. No one is as bad as Tobias. Yeah. Oh, uh, I I went ahead and added to the feud list, just in case. Oh, good. Raph, he's yeah. added to your list now? Yeah. The town's getting smaller and smaller for Frankie. <laughs> we have people that will talk to them. She only has six left. <laughs> it's I like, I... <laughs> My favorite was, it's like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to piss people off. I'm trying to, it's like, I'm a, I'm a people person. Sure. I try to be, but if you're going to be rude, rude I'm gonna, Boom. I'm dishing it back. What sort of questions are we talking about? Well, I don't know if you've heard. It's like I'm I'm assuming most people in this little town have have heard already, but we're a film crew that's like trying to find different phenomena in the area, find out about things that are happening that are strange. And uh yeah, we've been hearing about this singing that's been going on around town and Ah. In the area outside of town. So somebody overheard me talking about the singing. And... Correct. Correct. It so we were just wondering whether we could... It's pretty common. From what I've heard. So you've heard... Others have heard this? Music as well? Yes. Um, a few people. Yeah, well we were talking to Ben earlier and he said he'd heard it. Yeah. And I mean, it and he depends mentioned, on if you go down near the river a lot. Yeah. Well, he mentioned that Cassandra might have uh, heard it as well. So. Um, Cassandra, Victoria. Um, Finn also brought it up once. Okay. Yeah, actually. Uh, Wyatt was telling us about that. Um. So, did anything strange happen with you? Ben was telling us that he no, had kind nothing of strange, a... other than the like disembodied voice, of course. Pardon? Well, there's no source to the like. You don't see somebody singing. Oh, like for the singing? Okay. Yeah. So you just heard the singing and... Good singing, no body. I don't think he saw a body, but he was just saying that he kind of blacked out, basically. That he... Everything went kind of blurry, and then he woke up in a different place. He wasn't by the river anymore. Yeah, that didn't happen to me, but... I mean, it could have. Did you, uh, have any after effects, Molly? No. Like, how are you feeling? No dreams or anything like that? No. It it just happened a couple days ago, so no. Okay, because Ben was saying he's been having some creepy dreams since he's had it, and he heard the music last summer. or the singing last summer. I think it might also depend on length as well. Um, I don't know. I, I Again, this is all conjecture at this point. I have no solidified theories. So was yours just like a brief, like briefly hearing it? I was just walking Because now that by, you mentioned I wasn't there. You didn't stop. It was a little weird and I kind of walked away faster, to be honest. See, and Ben played along with it. So he was actually listening to it and mm -hmm. playing the music as well. So that could be something. But you said Victoria as well had heard something? Uh, yeah. And we already know about Finn. Okay. We also already know about Victoria. 
We already know about Victoria. Yeah, that's video. who I just told you that. Oh, yeah, video. that's who that was the video, correct. So yeah, so yeah, Frankie actually showed us something and it seemed like Victoria's been affected by it though. I forgot it was Victoria. My brain is fried today. Same. Well, yeah. Um, like I said, maybe it affects people differently. Or, well, I didn't say that, but, like, again, all theory at this point. Nothing is nothing is out of question. Yeah, and that's basically where we are right now. It just kind of came up, and it's, uh, that's what we're trying to do right now, is get to the bottom of stuff, so it, uh, it's just interesting, though. And you said you just heard it a couple days ago? Yeah, um, I was on a walk. Okay. I wonder if, yeah, we'll have to see if Wyatt's heard anything from Finn. I know he is probably going to look for him. But, uh, I wonder how long ago it was that, or if Finn has heard it. Did you say, because you mentioned Finn, did you, do you know whether he's heard it himself? Finn's always talking about monsters. Um... <laughs> That's true. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. What's the matter? Um. Uh, sorry. Uh. The. The thing I'm streaming with shut down, and it's like. Whenever you're ready, we can reroll into the application. However, this will end your stream recording session. Okay, so basically, we'll be wrapping up here soon anyway, but I, I can't click the button or else it'll close. Um, okay. Yeah, he's always talking about monsters, so not necessarily do I believe everything. He's, he's constantly talking about Bigfoot. His mom honestly must be getting eaten out of house and home with the amount of food that he brings for Bigfoot. <laughs> Do you realize how expensive peanut butter is now? And he's constantly telling the kids at school, he's like, oh yeah, I have to bring him three peanut butter sandwiches every single day. That's a lot of peanut butter. And it's gone all the time? Well, I would assume like any creature would eat peanut butter sandwiches. It's free food, of course. Uh, like, Anybody, yeah. a bear, a, yeah, a deer, that's what I'm maybe saying. even ducks. Who knows? Interesting. Three okay, a day. A loaf of bread is gone in two days, three days. She'll have to start hiding the food. Yes, but he's saying that if if he can't do it. <laughs> Bigfoot comes in and destroys the town and it's honestly it's kind of cute but it's a little bit mysterious that where he got that from okay well thank you very much for talking to us Molly that that helps a little bit so and like you said everything's conjecture right now we don't really we don't really know anything but I'm glad that what Ben or Victoria is going through doesn't seem to have affected you at all. That's good. I mean, I guess we'll see. It well, I hope so. When there's happened. True. Well, we know when Ben's happened. He said it was last last summer. But all right. Well, thanks for talking to us. No problem. Waiting for my food anyway. Okay, so we leave there. Okay. And our plan will be next episode to walk towards Cassandra. Okay. Um, Alright. So, let's ask our and then questions. Frankie, Frankie's got to talk to me next time they see. Well, they I guess, see. actually, if you have a question, you can ask it now, maybe. It was gonna be her opinion on. I was gonna give her the cliffhanger for the fact that I 
met and talked with Sophia Albatross or Yes. Yeah. Um and the whole makeover comment. Uh Okay, well, yeah, we can talk about that next game. So it's basically just like, so, like, do I, do I go? Do I do it as, like, now I have an in? Someone that you haven't, like, created barriers with? <laughs> what haven't, if things go. She hasn't pissed you off, is what I'm saying. Uh, more I haven't pissed her off, but. Well. But um, you did say that if they are annoying to you, or rude to you. Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna just try and be a dick. But, so, like, if I do this thing, she said I could come over after work. Like, do I do that? And then we have an in with the, like, big shot family? Yeah. You know what? Why not? It's like, if they get talking, like the thing is, it's like when you're just chit-chatting, it's like a lot of times things will come up and it's like, they're just talking about anything. And it's like, that's when some stuff can come out that maybe they wouldn't have been so willing to, or, uh, what's another word I'm thinking of? But things will slip. Because it's like, you're more casual, you're more relaxed. I would think it'd be a good idea. But also, she yeah, said maybe. they're not technically supposed to have people over, and then she told me to come over. Well, then for sure. It's like, was that her brother or her... Uh... Yeah, because her brother was... Uh, yeah. I have to figure it out. I don't know whether it was brother or cousin. Okay. Um, well, I'm pretty sure either Abercrombie or Fitch is her dad. And right. they're the reason she... So she said she's giving up on reporting. Because her dad wants her to join the family business or whatever. So, right. aside, maybe hanging out with me or us or whatever. I don't know. Maybe that'll piss her dad off. Well. And she'll want to do reporting. I don't know. Well, and even, like talking about like how you found some stuff out and done some investigating of your own might just rekindle that desire again yeah so to do it herself. just a quick thing uh so yeah they are cousins not brother and sister okay okay well still well, i'm pretty sure i put my foot in my mouth with her at the bar well the thing is, it's, yeah, it's a more casual setting. It's like, it's not so, uh, well, it is spur of the moment, but it's like, it's something that she wants to do. So I also didn't think she'd show up in the first place. Um, and then huh? I tried Who to knows? tell her that she was pretty smart. And then I decided to say that, um, she a lot smarter than she came off in the video and it didn't come out right exactly right yeah so kind of came out of my mouth together yeah but she's invited you right like it wasn't you asking to come over no she offered and made a comment about the green needing to go well it's I've never done it's you like casual social whatever this is supposed to be so do it anyway I think you'll be fine the fact that yeah it's like yeah sure she wants to give you a makeover but it's like you didn't annoy her that much that she like ew yeah she it's... was playing with my she was like messing and playing with my hair yeah, who Maybe. knows? And like you said, it's like it might trigger some kind of uh, like her wanting to continue on with what she was doing. 
Even if, yes, beginning video, she wasn't, as you said, so smart. She didn't seem so smart. Well, because obviously, smarter in person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like maybe she's just nervous. Maybe she's, uh, she's, uh, yeah. It's like camera shy. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, my stutter came out as calling her pretty. And so you think she likes you? I highly doubt that. Um, I don't know. She's playing with your hair. Is that a thing? Can be, I guess. You never know. It's like, just be yourself. It's like, you know, the more that we've been around each other, yes, you're kind of a loner, but it's like, you know, you know what you want. You know what you want, and you like to get things done the Frankie way. Yeah, the Frankie way has never been a good thing. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short. I'm sure you'll be fine. But yeah, I would go and it's like, yeah, it's always good to have the inside track with some, especially this family. They seem so odd. It's like and very off and making me want to be really fucking nosy. Well, just try it. Maybe just tone it down a little bit so that you don't come across as, I don't know, in their face. See yeah, what I don't she think reveals to you. Well, in your face. It... Well, maybe she'll change that. And it's like, you can always change it back if you hate it. That's one thing about dyeing your hair. You can always change it to another color. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, it's like he seemed, yeah, he was, like you said, rude, but... He was rolling my, his eyes at me for asking where he was on the river. Yeah. Oh, well. I confronted it. But... Yeah, and like the fact that he was saying too that uh, you were just encouraging Ben. It's like, well, you know what? It's like he he's got some theories, so it's like that's you know kind of my entire job to encourage people's stories to. Yeah, he shouldn't be doing that if that's a friend of his, and it's like obviously they're friends if they're going out for coffee. But well, apparently he's a very judgy friend. Um, okay, fine. I I will go over to the Alpha's house. As long as she doesn't try to put me in anything pink. <laughs> oh, that's I can't even that's imagine. Happening. I can't even imagine. Alright, so let's uh, ask our questions. Okay. Did we conclude the current mystery? No. We just did, started. Nope. did we save someone from certain death or worse? Tried to, but no. Yeah, Frankie didn't listen. Um, did we learn something new and important about the world? Yes. There's a siren. Uh, did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? No. Mm, no. It doesn't matter. One or two answers of yes gets you one experience anyway. So even though that, that was a yes, it'd still be one experience. So, one experience for everybody. Congratulations. Woo. So, uh, there will not be a game next week. Mm -hmm. um, because we have people away. Yep. Anywho, uh, we will see you all next time we play. Have a great night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Namaste.